the beautiful city of Dubrovnik offers a wealth of intriguing attractions for you to explore. This amazing city was founded in the 7th century and has been ruled through the centuries by the Venetians and the Hungarians, each of which have left their mark. The city enjoyed its greatest growth in the 15th and 16th centuries, a fact reflected in the impressive architecture and its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Popular for its spectacular seafront location on the Dalmatian coast, coupled with its evocative and historic Old Town District, Dubrovnik is home to Croatia's artistic and intellectual elite and offers numerous cultural activities and festivals. Highlights of a visit include walking around its picturesque old streets and alleys while visiting such excellent attractions as its splendid cathedral and treasury, the broad stratum pedestrian walkway, and its many fine old palaces and fortifications. One of the top experiences of any visit is a walk around the ancient city walls. For more ideas about the best sightseeing opportunities in this amazing city, be sure to watch our video of top attractions and things to do in Dubrovnik. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you can get new upcoming videos. Number 1. The Old City Walls The Old City Walls of Dubrovnik are built in the 10th century and modified in the 13th and 14th centuries. These formidable walls, as high as 6 meters in places, and up to 6 meters thick, provided a solid defense against invaders. Totaling nearly 2 kilometers in length, Dubrovnik city walls make a great spot for a casual stroll and offer numerous excellent views over the Adriatic and inwards over the old city center. Highlights along the way include the Bokar Tower, Fort Lorginac, the Revelin Fortress, and the Minseta Tower. Note that the city walls ascend and descend so the relatively short 2-kilometer distance is deceptively hot and sweaty work in the height of summer. If you plan to do the entire route, which is recommended, be sure to start early before the heat of the day. You'll also avoid a majority of the crowds. The fee to access the walls is surprisingly expensive, but a worthwhile investment. Number 2. Walk Through Stradun The Stradun is a place where locals and visitors alike gather day and night to watch the world drift by. Undoubtedly one of Europe's most picturesque pedestrian thoroughfares, the Stratton boasts many cafes and restaurants and is a good spot to get in some shopping or to rest weary feet after a day touring Dubrovnik. Measuring 300 meters in length and famous for its white limestone paving, the street dates back to 1468, although many of the surrounding buildings were built in the 17th century after the devastating earthquake of 1667 when most of Dubrovnik was heavily damaged. The Stradun's unique homes are designed to enable residential living upstairs and business activities on the main level and are notable for having their main doors and windows under the same arch. Just a few steps away from the Stratum on one of the side streets, War Photo Limited is a fascinating photography museum displaying images from the countless armed conflicts mankind has found itself caught up in. Number 3. The City Gates for centuries, Dubrovnik's famous Pile Gate has served as the main entrance and is still the most interesting access point to this fabulous old city. Formerly surrounded by a moat complete with a drawbridge built in 1537, the pedestrian only Pile Gate, one of two entrances to the Lapid area, also boasts a pleasant garden in the old moat. Other highlights include a statue of street, blaze located in a niche in the arch and carved by famous Croatian artist Ivan Mastrovic and, within the ramparts, a door dating back to 1460. Another gate worth seeing is the 14th century Plos Gate, just behind the Asimov Tower. Designed as a double defense system, it proved effective in times of trouble. Also imposing and located just across the moat from the Plos Gate is the Revelin Fortress, built in 1580. Number 4. Stroll Around Lodge Square Lodge Square in Dubrovnik has long been a central gathering point for citizens and visitors alike. Featuring some of Dubrovnik's most famous buildings and public monuments, this former market square is found in the northeast section of the old city center. Highlights include Orlando's Column built and designed by sculptor Antonio Ragasino, as well as the famous Loggia of the Bells, dating from 1480 and used as an early warning system by residents in times of unrest. It's here you'll also find the Church of St. Blaise, of interest for its Baroque facade and priceless collection of works of art. Also of interest on the square are a clock tower from the 15th century, the main guardhouse, the small fountain of Onofrio, 
and Sponza Palace, now home to the city's archives. Number 5. Ride the Dubrovnik Cable Car Another fun thing to do when visiting Dubrovnik is to head to the hills via cable car. The Dubrovnik Cable Car whisks visitors high above the old town, up Sard Hill, with the views only getting better and better as you climb. The journey lasts less than 10 minutes, and once deposited at the top, you're free to explore the area. Attractions to look out for include the 19th century Imperial Fortress, built by the French during their occupation of the region and now housing a fascinating exhibit pertaining to the Homeland War of 1991, when the city was defended against hostile forces. There's also a restaurant boasting spectacular views over the old town, along with unique shopping, including a fascinating traditional coin minting blacksmith shop. Number 6. Fountain of Onofrio and St. Savior Church Dubrovnik's famous large fountain of Onofrio is probably the best known of the city's many historic monuments. An easy stroll from the Pile Gate, this landmark structure is somewhat smaller today than the original due to damage caused by the earthquake of 1667. The fountain was an important part of the city's original water supply system that carried water from the Dubrovaka River. The fountain stands immediately in front of the equally attractive St. Savior Church, built in the early 16th century in thanks for what city elders believed was divine intervention after the city was spared during an earthquake a few years earlier, it is in fact one of only a few buildings to have survived the devastating earthquake of 1667 intact. Today, this small place of worship is well worth visiting for its fine Gothic and Renaissance features. Number 7. Fort Lavrigenac Fort Lavrigenac, also known as St. Lawrence Fortress, has long been one of Croatia's most important fortresses. Rising an impressive 37 meters above the Adriatic, this stunning fortification proved impregnable during the many sieges undertaken by the Venetians from its completion in the 11th century onwards. Legend, in fact, has it that the Venetians themselves planned to build a fort here but were beaten to it by industrious city folk. Also notable for its unusual triangular layout with its three terraces, Fort Lovrigenek is accessed via two drawbridges and a gateway through its impressive walls, in places as thick as 12 meters. In addition to serving as a tourist attraction, the fort is also used as a venue and backdrop for Dubrovnik's famous summer festival and its many theatrical and musical performances. Number 8. Banj Beach This historic city is in fact home to Banj Beach, widely regarded as one of the top beaches in Croatia. Located just a short walk from the historic old town, it's a delightful place to relax and splash your feet or go for swim. In addition to water sports activities such as sea kayaking and windsurfing, it's also a pleasant place for a stroll, especially after enjoying a meal at one, the many restaurants or luxury hotels nearby. Although a little farther away, the beaches lining the Lapid Peninsula are worth visiting too. An easy 4-kilometer drive or bus ride from the old town, you'll find three main beaches to explore and relax on. Cava, Wuvala Bay, and the tropical-sounding Copacabana. These kid-friendly beaches are great for those traveling as families, and although an admission fee is required, they are well worth it. Other activities besides sunbathing and swimming include snorkeling and jet skiing. Number 9. Minceta Tower Located on the city wall system, the impressive Minceta Tower is well worth checking out. Originally built in 1319 and reinforced in 1461, the tower casts an imposing shadow on the old town below. The tower was also one of the major settings for a pivotal scene in Game of Thrones, where Daenerys goes to search for her stolen dragons. The Minceta Tower, located at the north end of the wall system near the Pile Gate, is the farthest inland of all the towers, making it one of the best spots to get that perfect shot out over the old town with its wonderful orange rooftops. Be brave and scale the narrow stairways to the top. The flow of visitors can be tricky at times, so pack a bit of patience on your way up. Number 10. Fort of St. John On the eastern edge of the old town sits the Fort of St. John, known to locals as the Fort of St. Ivan. Once an important part of Dubrovnik's defenses, this imposing structure now houses several modern attractions to keep visitors entertained. In the upper area is the Maritime Museum of Dubrovnik, featuring displays of Dubrovnik's maritime, past illustrated through model boats and naval artifacts, while the lower area contains the Aquarium of Dubrovnik with its many interesting displays of local and exotic fish, 
as well as a superb collection of seahorses. Also worth a visit is nearby Bocar Fort, designed and built by Michelazzo di Bartolomeo Michelazzi, and a great spot to visit for its excellent views over the city and the Adriatic. Number 11. The Island of Lokrum. Located just half kilometer from Dubrovnik, the island of Lokrum is pretty hard to miss. If you've got time in your Dubrovnik sightseeing itinerary, hop aboard the short ferry ride to this fascinating island. In addition to the superb views over the old town of Dubrovnik, there are a few interesting attractions you'll find here worth exploring. Head first to Fort Royal Castle, a fortification constructed by Napoleon's troops to defend the harbor city. It's an easy climb, and the views in all directions are spectacular. Other points of interest on this small island include a small inland salt lake known as the Dead Sea, a popular spot for selfies and scuba diving, an old Benedictine monastery known to have been around since the 11th century and which now houses a museum about the island, as well as a restaurant, and a delightful botanical garden that's home to some 200 species of plants. Number 12. Dubrovnik Cathedral and Treasury Standing on the site of an older cathedral dating from the 6th century that was destroyed by earthquakes, beautiful Dubrovnik Cathedral, also referred to as the Assumption Cathedral. It was designed in Baroque style by Andrea Buffalini of Rome. Notable for its three aisles, three apses, and splendid interior decor, the cathedral includes highlights such as paintings by Italian and Dalmatian artists from the 16th to 18th centuries including the Virgin of the Chair by Raphael from the early 1600s. A must-see is the cathedral treasury with its many important relics, the most famous being a portion of the cross that Jesus is thought to have been crucified upon. Other famous relics include the head, leg, and arm of St. Blaise, the city's patron saint, dating from the 13th century, as well as a splendid display of 138 gold and silver reliquaries from around the world.